let's try it. Let's try to do something a little different. If you would like to pick the next keyword search, enter the giveaway by typing hole in the chat. Mars! Mars, what's our keyword? Playground. This has the potential to be sad. Am I the asshole for telling a deaf kid's mom that she's holding her son back? My Jack, 10, is very quiet. He likes to read. He likes the quiet. He likes bright visuals and museums. He didn't speak for a long time. He loves to learn. He's got a tiny group of friends, but he's happy and always looking for more. Jack is autistic and doesn't like much noise. Jack met James at the playground we go to. James is deaf and he's got a serious case of helicopter mom. They waved and talked and ran around before we left and we've been almost every day since and they've seen each other. Because James is deaf and isn't extremely loud and understands that about Jack, they've become very good friends. Jack came to the conclusion that James can read and write like him and so he got a little pen and notebook and he had me put him on YouTube so that he could try and learn sign language. Friend, play, run, would you like to go with me to hello and other friendly things? And now they're best friends. Jack recently had the idea that because James can't hear, they have to do things with seeing. We live near a big, beautiful aquarium and Jack had the idea that we could all go together. Me and my husband would be with James's parents and they could be actual friends outside of the playground setting. I approached James's mother to ask them yesterday and she informed me she didn't want the boys to get too close because James is deaf and they don't want him to make too many friends that aren't because he's already at a disadvantage and she doesn't want him to be left out. I'm sorry, what's that? Your little Jack wants to go to the aquarium? my little boy sorry i think that the best thing that i could do for my son is to uh prevent him from developing and nurturing meaningful relationships i really think that that's going to set him up later in life uh to be very successful and great and to also maybe need me forever um so that i can feel wanted and deserving of love I informed her that if her son would be going to public school and entering the world, he'd have to get used to being deaf and having all sorts of friends. And all she was doing was pushing away the friends that he could be making and being selfish while not looking after what her son wanted. I don't know what happened exactly, but I got a call last night from James's father with James screaming in the background and everything has been set up. We're going with him and his wife, stepmom, on Friday and calling it a day. We'll all wear masks and have a nice outing and it's all completely fine. The boys are both extremely <laughs> excited to go together. <laughs> let's fucking go. Rare Dad W, let's go, let's go. I saw his mom at the playground this morning. She was quite aggressive, telling me I should have never set up the play date and involving her ex-husband. I told her that if she only thought of her feelings, there was a reason her son had to go to his dad to be able to see his friend. And I walked away from her. Am I the asshole? Good shit. Good shit. If you'd like to choose the next keyword, type hole into the chat. No exclamation point needed, just type hole. Kristen, Kristen, what's our next hole keyword? chair because i'm assembling a chair right now all right let's see what we got okay am i the asshole for leaving my babies inside by themselves this this one seems pretty split all right here we go i 20 am a mother of triplets whom are only two months old i never expected ever in my life that i'd be a mother to triplets so when i first became pre gant I was definitely, it was definitely the last thing on my mind. I'm home with my babies all day long and had to even transfer my education to online. Sometimes I just need some fresh air, especially when I can't get them to stop crying and I find myself getting super frustrated to the point of tears. It's honestly so hard and dad isn't here to help us. He's either at work or at school. My fiance's 24 parents rented us a main floor apartment 
So when I step outside, I'm literally just sitting on the chair right beside the door. Plus I have a baby monitor set up in their room and it has a camera on it so I can literally see them and hear them if anything happened. I'd be able to quickly get to them. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine as fuck. Being able to step outside for a few minutes to take a breather is really important to me because I, I start to have many panic attacks when I can't get them to stop crying and I get really frustrated because I just feel super overwhelmed. Being able to go outside just gives me a chance to calm down. My fiance came home to me sitting outside while the babies were crying and freaked out on me calling me a horrible mom and a bunch of other names that I'm not gonna list here. Hmm. Maybe throw the man away. He thinks that I was being super neglectful and putting the babies in harm's way and even told his parents and now everyone seems to be really against me. I, I grew up in the system. My fiance's family is the only family I have and have ever known. So it breaks my heart that they are so upset with me, but I really don't think I was doing anything wrong or putting my babies in harm's way, but they seem to think otherwise. So here I am wondering if I should apologize for my actions or if I'm the asshole in this situation. Okay, I decided to show my fiance this thread at first. He was really upset with me for sharing our personal problems with strangers on the internet, even though it's anonymous. But in the end, when we had a chance to calm down and hear me and all of you guys, he actually apologized and promised he'd be more involved with parenting and is even willing to take parenting classes, which I'll hold him to that. I just wanna thank everyone for the support that you all gave me. It brought me to tears. Seeing how supportive you all were to a stranger on the internet, I don't think I've ever received this much support before. Good. Growth, yeah, let's go. Sounds like mama needs some help. She sounds like she's suffering from PPD. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, cause they're only, they were only two months old. Yeah. Decent ending, yeah. Is this, is that, it's all right. Not the asshole. All right, give me another, give me another keyword. Lock, flash, love, violet, female. Oh, you looking to get mad, mad, huh, Bookie? You looking to get angry? Am I the asshole for storming off from my sister's wedding after she dead named my son? I'm a 45 year old single father of three. Their mom died 10 years ago. I have three sons, 17 year old Andrew, 15 year old Connor and 14 year old Max. Connor was born female. He is trans. He came out as trans five years ago, has now socially transitioned, not yet physically. My sister 38F just got married. Me and my sons were also invited. My family has known that Connor is trans for two years now. Some have adjusted well, some not so much. My sister is pretty indifferent about it. Her wedding was really super well organized to the last detail. She wanted all the men to wear shirt and tie and the women sundresses. We're gonna get mad, huh? We gonna get, we gonna get mad, man, huh? I texted her a picture of our outfits the day before the wedding and she said, Where's Nia's dress? I don't know who that is. You're gonna have to be more specific because uh, the only people in this picture are my sons. My sons, all of my sons whom you have told me you want wearing suits. I was a bit surprised and told her to not dead name my son, that he'll be wearing a shirt and tie like the rest of the men there or we aren't coming. She said, fine, and that was it. At the reception, my sister got mad that Connor was wearing a tie, but it didn't say much after that. When we sat down at our table, the card said, Nia. I went to my sister and she said she used their real name. Violence. Violence. I told her me and the boys are leaving and she told me, don't you dare cause this caused a scene at my wedding. Nia can be a guy any other day. No, no, he cannot. He's a guy all the time. You fucking bigot piece of 
some shit! I called her a bigot and we left. My family says I ruined her wedding. Your sons are the only family that you need. Throw them all in the fucking garbage. Every single last fucking one of them. All of them. Hit all of them with the entirety of that parking lot's cars. You ruined your own fucking wedding. I wish that he ruined it more. <laughs> Top comment here. You ready for this? He can be a man any other day? What a ridiculous thing to say. Well, sister theoretically could be an asshole any other day too, yet here we are. Not the asshole. Good on you for standing up to her in support of your son. Trans people don't owe you fucking anything, especially conformity to what you believe they should look like, identify as, or present as, whether it is in line with the way they present or otherwise. Trans people don't owe you fucking shit. We're gonna call you Jimothy today. Oh, you don't like that? That's not your name? It makes you angry? No fucking way! I cannot fucking believe the audacity of this bitch exposed her conditional tolerance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, not the asshole. Ooh, that's when he came out as trans at home. Comment rule was removed by a moderator. Uh, we started calling him they, them first, his witches, and moved on to he, him when he wanted it. He then experimented with a few names. Some were awful. We struck gold with Connor and then started changing his appearance more. Wanted to be addressed as a boy in public, be called Connor, etc. Hasn't started hormones yet. He will soon. Hopefully you understand the meaning of social transitioning. If you don't and would like to, there are some great educational sites to look up. Also, at 10 years old, I was damn sure I was a boy. The content of my pants had little to do with the certainty of my gender. Let's go, dad! Let's go, dad! Fuck yeah, dude! Fuck yeah! What a huge piece of shit. What a way to out yourself. What a way to expose to everyone that you don't give a shit about them. I'm a fucking bee, dude. I'm a fucking bee. I'm a god. 